The first section is the oscillator. There are two oscillators and both oscillators are identical. They generate three waveforms each. Triangle wave, ramp wave, otherwise known as sawtooth wave, and a pulse wave. All the outputs can be used at the same time. With the pulse wave, the duty cycle can be varied either manually or under voltage control. Each oscillator has a coarse and fine tuning control that can be used to manually set the frequency of the oscillator. You can also control the pitch of the oscillator with a voltage, either using the pitch in for a 1 volt per octave calibrated input, or with the FM in, which allows you to vary the amount of pitch variation based on the input voltage. Here we can see the input voltage on the oscilloscope that's controlling the pitch of the oscillator. The output signal looks like this. Now let's use the same modulation signal but put it into the FM in instead of the pitch in. With the FM in we can adjust the depth of the modulation. The sensitivity adjustment goes from zero to less than one volt per octave. So you can actually use it as a volt per octave input as well. The pulse output makes pulse waves of any width, all the way from a super narrow pulse right through to a perfect square wave. The pulse width can be voltage controlled, so you can get that nice deep modulation sound from an LFO. Using the sync input, we can reset one oscillator from another oscillator or audio signal. This gives huge variation in timbre and allows you to do really interesting and awesome sounding things. We encourage you to experiment with all kinds of different ways of syncing, frequency modulating, and pulse width modulating the oscillators.